CBS News and Google have embarked on a new partnership, and we're going to be conducting Google Hangouts from time to time to connect people in every corner of the country to talk about topics related to campaign 2012. We held our first one last week and asked a group of internet savvy people how religion is getting along in this time of a communications revolution. Did we find out some interesting stuff? Here's a sample. What is going on with religion these days in the age of the internet? I'd say it's actually thriving. I think that especially evangelicals, Christians in general, uh, take up forms of new technology and they run with it. Part of the thing we're talking about is not just connecting a congregation or a set of like-minded individuals one day a week, but how do we do that seven days a week? So I think it kind of creates this shift from the mega church to what we call a giga church concept of staying connected to these mobile devices. We knew that so many Jews weren't walking into bricks and mortar institutions. So this was a way that we could really bring Judaism to people where they were. We actually run ads on Google only when we have services that are going on. But those ads that we run are um, for things that would not be typical. We're, 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 we're uh, basically running ads on things like people that are searching for naked ladies in a way to connect with someone in the privacy of their home or their business when, they, when their, their motives or their thought processes might not be all that pure. We're able to kind of help maybe provide what we feel like is a much better solution, a better answer. People who may have sort of dropped out of the Jewish community or felt like they were pushed out of the Jewish community uh, have, have happened upon us. This is the, the beauty of social networking and, and, and the viral nature of it. Is it having any kind of a, uh, an impact on our politics? We're finding that, that that faith in the Christian community does have quite a bit of impact on politics. The next generation, though, is um, less concerned about Republican versus Democrat. They're more willing to reach kind of across the aisle and try to say, how do we enact change, whether that comes through, through the government law or how do we just en enact change outside of that? As Martin Luther used to say, I'd rather be uh, governed by a wise Turk than a stupid Christian. And I think whether it's religion or politics, that the technology just allows it to be more democratic with a lowercase d. I mean, it is far more participatory. It is allowing for conversations. People who used to not have a microphone now have one. To watch the whole Hangout, go to our Face the Nation page on Google+.